Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! I'm right behind you, Andy! Come on! Do it! Yeah! Parkour. Welcome to the world of Bonehead, a future where parkour gangs have taken over the urban landscape and social commentary tech is all the rage. If the name and the concept didn't give it away, the first page of this book proves it's a dark comedy announcing how simultaneously silly and sinister the world could become in the near future. But it loses its balance halfway through and reads more like a child's fantasy, so Bonehead number one is about to get dead. Bonehead is published by Glitch, which is associated with Top Cow which is partnered with Image, which is all you really need to know. If it's image related, you know it's gonna be good. It's written by Brian Edward Hill, while Roald Marcellius did the art and Sakti Yuano colored it in. The comics art matches the tone of the story perfectly, which is a rare feat. Usually you get two people who might work well together and each produces a masterful work of art that stands together to create a wonderful comic. But when you get a team as integrated on this project as these guys, you have something truly special, a page turner that ensures you get to see every line. While the writer, artist, and colorist mesh really well, they're missing the mark in many panels and they're doing it together. Dude. The first time we see the protagonist, we know he's gonna be super cool in his awesome helmet. And we immediately get a ticking clock of 36 minutes to find a specific drone out of hundreds in the city. The next time we see the clock, half a page later, 20 minutes has gone by. I thought this guy was supposed to be fast. Did he take his lunch break halfway through? Dude. Bonehead follows the hero, 56, and his tech buddy, Aleph, as they split the line between warring parkour factions, the police, and the rest of the city. And I think the best part of this book is that the cops are way cooler than the hero, even though the hero is pretty awesome in his own right. An intriguing hero makes the story worth following. An intriguing villain makes the story good. Unfortunately, they try too hard again to make everything cool. Sure, the gladiator police have EMPs, anti-grav boots, and force field shields, but the extra description on each of these items is unnecessary, unaligned and unwarranted. You got a little too excited there, Brian. Dude. And it gets worse. Apparently the gladiators are outfitted with untested technology. As dispatch tells him, the standard issue grav boots are in need of further testing. So who lets the police force use untested equipment? Their lives are on the line. Then when this guy catches 56, he just lets him jump away and gives up. Any swag bag cred these guys had just plummeted with the untested anti-grav boots. Yeah. Bonehead gets a six on the Richter skill because I think it's supposed to be funny and some of the social commentary actually is. So I hope that was intentional and not just writing so bad that it's good. Yeah. This whole book is full of awesome setups and terrible letdowns. Have you read it? I'd say read it and see if it's your thing. Then let us know in the comments below what you thought. Share this video with your friends if you have any. Like it and I'll insult your social circle next week when you come back for more. Dude. I'm so mad about the random unnecessary song lyrics that I can't even think of something witty to say about it.